Hi there, this is Ed Herzog with edherzog.com and today I want to show you the brand new theme builder in Elementor Pro. The theme builder that was released with Elementor Pro 3.0. So let me switch over to my desktop and I'll take you through a tutorial of the new theme builder. So here I am in my WordPress dashboard and the first thing I want to do is I want to come here to templates. I'm then going to scroll down and click on theme builder. Now this is going to load the old version of the theme builder. I assume that Elementor is eventually going to get rid of this and take you directly to the new theme builder, but at least for now, the old version is what loads up initially. To get to the new version, we just click here on try it now. And now we're in the new version. Now right here, you're not going to see any content because this is just a demonstration website. So you see placeholder, uh, placeholder holder content in these. But of course, this is also what it'll look like if you're brand new to Elementor Pro. This is what it'll look like the first time you load up Theme Builder and before you've created the different parts of your website. Now, the first thing to know is that you do not have to create every single one of these. Uh, you can create whichever parts you want via the Theme Builder. For example, I know a lot of people don't like to have their blog posts tied to the Theme Builder. So if you don't want to create your blog post via the Theme Builder, you don't have to do it. At the same time, you can also create multiple versions of each of these, of the header, footer, single post, single page, archive, search results, and error 404. You can create as many different versions as you want and then select the display conditions to display them where and when you want to display them. So for example, if you want to have multiple headers, different headers for different uh, pages or posts on your website, you can do that. If you want to have different blog posts, depending on the content, you can do that as well. So you're not limited in that sense. You can create what you want to create with the theme builder. You also have this button up here. If you click on that, it allows you to import templates if you want to do that. Come back over here. If you click on these different parts here, this here gives you an overview of every single thing that, you, that you've created via the theme builder. But if you want to see uh, you know, the different headers you've created or the different footers, etc., you can click on these individual site parts and it'll take you to that. Now here, of course, as I've said, I haven't created anything, so it's going to say no templates found. Um, now I'm, gonna, I'm not going to take you through a tutorial on how to create each of these different parts. I, I may do that in other videos. I'm just giving you an overview of the theme builder in this particular video. But I do want to take you through a bit more of the process. So let's just click here on for header. Click over here on add new. Now this will load up the Elementor header template. So wait a second for this to load up. And there we have them. And if you don't want to use one of these templates, if you want to start from scratch, you can just click here on the X button and that will uh, close out and you'll have a blank template to start with. But just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to go ahead and insert this one here. Wait for this to load up and get inserted and there it is. Now, of course, this is like anything else in Elementor. Of course, I can do whatever I want. I can add whatever widgets I want. I can delete things, change column sizes, colors, etc. Again, I'm not going to take you through a full tutorial in terms of how to do that, but you know, this doesn't the new theme builder doesn't change anything in terms of what you can do in terms of designing your headers or your other site parts. Now what we want to do is we obviously want to publish this. So we'll click on publish and now we need to add conditions. So this is actually from the prior version. They haven't changed this at all as far as I know. Uh, but you have both include as well as exclude conditions. Uh, so you can include, for example, entire site or under archives, you have various options here, author archive, date archive, search, uh, search results or different post archives. And then here under singular, you have options for front page, posts, page, media, direct child of, any, uh, any child of, by author and 404 page. So let's just leave it like this, include singular, all singular, and we'll save and close it. Okay, now it's published. Now we click here on Open Site Editor. Now this will actually take us back to the Theme Builder. I have no idea why at that point they call it the Site Editor, but now we're back here in the Theme Builder. Uh, this right now, it takes, uh, I found it takes a couple minutes before it actually displays, but if we click here, it displays there within this part, uh, you know, this part of the Theme Builder. So from here, we've got options if we want to edit it, you can click there. We've got options for exporting, trashing, renaming. Here we see the name, the default name. Again, we can rename it right there. It shows who created it. It shows the date of creation. The green button there means it's live on your website. 
And here you see the instances where it's displayed. Again, we chose all singular, so it's displayed there. If you want to edit that, we just click right there, and it takes us back to the display conditions. And, you know, if you want to, as I said, if you want to create more headers, just click there, and then create more headers, and they'll show up here as well underneath that one. So that is basically what you can do with the, with the new theme builder. I really like this. It's very nice, very visual. You know, before it was just this long list of, uh, you know, it was built more into WordPress. It was just this long list of different things, and it's hard to remember what was what. But here, you know, it's very easy to know what you've created, where you've placed it. Uh, it just makes it much easier. So, so that's it. That is the new theme builder. If you have any questions at all about the new theme builder, I mean, I think this is pretty straightforward, but, you know, as I said in all my videos, if you have questions, please let me know. I'm always willing to help people out as best as I can. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing, you know, one to two Elementor videos every week for the rest of 2020 and probably into 2021 as well. Finally, if you're not a pro member yet, I love pro, you know, I was one of the initial customers. I bought it when it first came out uh, back, I think it was about four years ago. So if you do decide to buy Pro, I always appreciate it if people buy via my affiliate link. I'll put that down in the description of the video. And you know, it does give me a little bit of money. It allows me to continue to create 100% free content. So that is it. I hope this video was of, uh, of use to you and hope to see you on the next video. Bye.